Japan, China, and Korea all have hockey programs. This is action from the Japan Ice Hockey League. Similar to our old NHL, the league has six teams from around the country. Hockey isn't brand new here either. The Japan Ice Federation was set up over 50 years ago in 1930. Since the 1972 Olympics in Sapporo, hockey has become increasingly popular and Japanese teams have imported two foreigners to improve the level of play. Among the recruits are former NHL players. They've had to adapt to a very different Japanese culture. Gary Monahan played 11 seasons in the NHL. He's now in his third season in Japan. Well, here we go uh, usually two hours on the ice in the morning, and then in the afternoon we'll go an hour or so, uh, what they call Taiso. It's a little running, a little weight training, and uh, some stretching exercises. So it's really uh, two, two a day. And most of the guys live at a dormitory, so they uh, eat three meals a day together, uh, sleep together. It's really a full-time operation. Gary's teammate, Ted McAnally, is a former NHL defenseman, also in his third season. He feels the Japanese veneration of age in what is called the Senpai Kohai system inhibits Japanese hockey. But over here it seems that with this Senpai Kohai system that the young players are, are stepped on and, and they just really can't progress as fast as uh, an athlete should, in my opinion. That Another former NHLer, Harvey Bennett, notes the cultural influence on the level of violence in the game. There's no fighting over here. They play a, a clean game. Uh, there's a little stick play, but not too much. Uh, if there's a rough, rough play in the corner, each guy will bow to each other and say, uh, see my sen, which means excuse me. And there's no constant warfare. If, if there's a, a hard check thrown against somebody back home, you'll expect someone to come and get back at that guy. Whereas here, it's let go. Herb Wakabayashi grew up in Canada playing hockey and was an All-American center for Boston University in 1968. Then he came to Japan to help their hockey program. He says that the North American influence has helped Japanese hockey. I think a lot of it is the uh, North American influence. Again, we've had uh, uh, Canadian imports, and as yourself coming from the U.S., uh, each team has now two imports, and it was never like that before. And I think it's, it certainly has developed the game here, and people are, are really starting to catch on to it. The game of hockey is the same, but the Japanese culture is a learning experience for North Americans. When I got into the, uh, the old fulo, as they call it, which is the Japanese bath, we're all in there together, one of the younger players started to wash my back. And I was quite surprised, but I, I learned afterwards that the younger players have to wash the older players' backs, and uh, so I'm, I'm getting to enjoy that. Is everything's done in a group, they feel comfortable in a group, and for anybody to step outside of that group, uh, it's, it's a no-no, really. That, uh, it's like, no, if you step out, outside of the group, it's like a nail popping up, you get hammered down. Yesterday, I thought after a little episode, I didn't think the referee was going to come and get me. I thought the police were. <laughs> if you are a hockey fan, you'll be glad to know the game thrives the world over. And no matter how different the culture, the thrill of scoring a goal translates into any language. From Tokyo, Japan, I'm Kurt Bennett for Japanese Hockey.